May the peace of the Lord be with you all, as we bring to you the readings of today's Holy Mass. Let us now listen to the Word of God. September 11, 2024, Wednesday of the 23rd week in Ordinary Time. A reading from the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, now concerning virgins, I have no commandment from the Lord. But I give counsel, as one who has obtained the mercy of the Lord to be faithful. Therefore I consider this to be good because of the present necessity, that it is good for a man to be as I am. Are you bound to a wife? Do not seek to be freed. Are you free of a wife? Do not seek a wife. But if you take a wife, you have not sinned. And if a virgin has married, she has not sinned. Even so, such as these will have the tribulation of the flesh. But I would spare you from this. And so, this is what I say, brothers, the time is short. What remains of it is such that those who have wives should be as if they had none, and those who weep, as though they were not weeping, and those who rejoice, as if they were not rejoicing, and those who buy, as if they possessed nothing, and those who use the things of this world, as if they were not using them. For the figure of this world is passing away. The Word of the Lord Responsorial Psalm. The response is, Listen to me, daughter, see and bend your ear. Hear, O daughter, and see, and incline your ear, and forget your people and your father's house. And the king shall greatly desire your beauty, for he is the Lord your God, and him they shall adore. Listen to me, daughter, see and bend your ear. All the glory of the king's daughter is within in golden borders, clothed round about with varieties. After her shall virgins be brought to the king, her neighbors shall be brought to you. Listen to me, daughter, see and bend your ear. They shall be brought with gladness and rejoicing, they shall be brought into the temple of the king. Instead of your fathers, sons are born to you, you shall make them princes over all the earth. Listen to me, daughter, see and bend your ear. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. And lifting up his eyes to his disciples, he said, Blessed are you poor, for yours is the kingdom of God. Blessed are you who are hungry now, for you shall be satisfied. Blessed are you who are weeping now, for you shall laugh. Blessed shall you be when people hate you, and when they separate you and reproach you, and throw out your name as if it were evil, because of the Son of Man. Be glad in that day, and exult. For behold, your reward is great in heaven. For these same things their fathers did to the prophets. Yet truly, woe to you who are wealthy, for you have your consolation. Woe to you who are satisfied, for you will be hungry. Woe to you who laugh now, for you will mourn and weep. Woe to you when people bless you. For these same things their fathers did to the false prophets. The Gospel of the Lord Reflection Are you finding true satisfaction in your life, or are wealth, comfort, and praise distracting you from what really matters? But woe to you who are rich, for you have received your consolation. But woe to you who are filled now, for you will be hungry. Woe to you who laugh now, for you will grieve and weep. Woe to you when all speak well of you, for their ancestors treated the false prophets in this way. Luke 6 verses 24 to 26 
Is it dangerous to be rich, to be filled, to laugh, and to have all speak well of you? According to Jesus, it appears so. Why would Jesus warn against these things? And before that, why would he pronounce it blessed to be poor, hungry, weeping, and insulted? Essentially, Jesus was condemning for common sins, greed, gluttony, intemperance, and vainglory, and promoting their opposite virtues. Poverty, in and of itself, is not sufficient for holiness. But in Luke's Gospel, Jesus declares it blessed to be poor, literally. This goes further than Matthew's Gospel, which says it is blessed to be poor in spirit. To be poor in spirit is to be spiritually detached from the material things of this world, so that you can be fully open to the riches of God. One common tendency among those with material wealth is to rationalize that even though they have many things, they are detached from them. Hopefully that is the case. However, in Luke's version of the Beatitudes, Jesus directly says, Blessed are you who are poor and a woe to you who are rich. In this teaching, we discover a second blessing not found in Matthew's version. In addition to spiritual detachment, poverty of spirit, being identified as a blessing, literal poverty is proclaimed as the easier way to achieve this spiritual detachment. Material wealth, though not a sin in and of itself, brings with it many temptations toward attachment, self-reliance, and self-indulgence. Thus, spiritually speaking, it is easier to be detached when one is poor, rather than when one is rich. This is a hard truth for both the poor and the rich to accept. The poor often want to be rich, thinking that if they were, they would share their wealth with others, and remain detached. The rich often enjoy being rich, and believe that they are more spiritually detached than they actually are. Being hungry is also identified as a blessed state, whereas being filled is a dangerous state. When you are literally hungry, either from fasting or from lack of an abundance of food, it is easier to turn your hunger and thirst toward God so as to be filled by Him and to more easily trust in His providence. An abundance of food, especially fine food, tempts you with a gluttonous satisfaction that makes it difficult to hunger and thirst for God and His holy will in a complete way. Therefore, if you refrain from indulgence and experience hunger, you will be blessed to be free from gluttony and even the temptation toward it. Laughing and weeping in this case are not referring to joy and despair. Rather, they are referring to those who are always seeking fun and an indulgent life. Many people live for fun, entertainment, and momentary pleasures. Weeping refers to those who have discovered that the fleeting pleasures of the world can never satisfy. Constant entertainment, therefore, brings with it a real temptation, whereas the loss of that form of fleeting pleasure helps eliminate that temptation. Finally, Jesus declares it blessed to be hated, excluded, insulted, and denounced as evil on account of him, rather than being spoken well of by all. In this case, Jesus is referring to the praise that comes from things that mean nothing from an eternal perspective. When all speak well of us, praising qualities and accomplishments that are not true Christian virtues, we will be tempted to rely upon that praise for our satisfaction. But this form of satisfaction is nothing other than vainglory and never truly satisfies in the end. However, when one sees and praises the virtues of God within us, God is praised first and foremost, and we are blessed to share in God's glory. Reflect today upon whether you prefer to be rich, to indulge in the best of foods, to be constantly entertained, and to be the envy of others, or whether you see the temptations this type of life brings. Reflect also upon the concrete spiritual blessings that come to those who are literally poor, hungry, temperate, and humble. This is a very demanding teaching from Jesus. If it doesn't sit well with you, then know that it is a sign that you still have various attachments in life. 
reflect especially upon the beatitude that is most difficult to embrace and make that beatitude the source of reflection and prayer. Doing so with honesty and openness will result in you being among those who are truly blessed in the eyes of God. Let us pray. My blessed Lord, you were poor, hungry, temperate, and humble to the perfect degree. For these reasons, you were filled with perfect virtue and were satisfied to the greatest degree. Please open my eyes to the deceptions of this world so that I can live with you a life of true holiness, experiencing the riches of the kingdom of heaven. Jesus, I trust in you. Amen. Thank you for listening to the readings and reflection of today's Mass. Please like, subscribe, and share with your family and friends. Again, thank you, and may God bless us all.